Hello everybody, this is Commander Strain and welcome back to Armoured Warfare. Um, today's star of the show is Eloran Lan, or as we shall affectionately know him from now on, Eloran. Now Eloran is a regular viewer in my Twitch streams and he sent me this replay of a really, really great Challenger 1 game. So Eloran is in the Challenger 1 Wolf, the Tier 7 Premium Tank version. The matchmaking is really, really good and he's platooned up with Galician, a member of the Revo Battalion. Uh, so, you know, one of my own, so we'll have to see how it goes. Now, a bit later on in the video, towards the end, there is a bit of salt in chat. Unfortunately, it is something that happens quite a lot in PvP, um, especially when MBTs camp. In this case, we're not going to see a lot of MBTs camping. We're hopefully going to see a really good game. So, there's some great pushes uh, by an MBT, the Leopard 2 and a Centauro onto the north. Um, Stingray in the south, along with the Centaur 120, are covering the I and the J line. Um, most of the scouts are in the middle, from the F to the D line. Uh, let's see how this game develops. Stingray's calling out for a little bit more support. He's pretty much on his own down there, which is never good. In this game, you need to be working together as much as you possibly can. Now... Oh, an XM1 FSED is pushing across the southern bridge. Stingray seen him. Centauro is there giving some support, but uh, not a great start. A lot of passive play from the TDs and the BMD4s, especially on the E line. Oh, look, there's another an enemy Stingray coming across the J line as well. So, and a BMP2. The friendly Stingray is trying to pull away. Meanwhile, Elorant is moving up towards the north. Um. Furiously, the map is being pinged by the friendly Stingray driver. So, oh, and Eloran hits a rock. It's not just me that hits rocks. And there we go. Now, uh, all this time, Eloran is just about to hit the A-line. First enemy MBT on the A-line has been spotted. But in the south, looks like the friendly Stingray is about to get overrun. There's an enemy assaulter that came across the middle bridge as well. The Centaro 120s pulled back. And it looks like the southern flank has fallen. There's been a Stingray killed on both teams in the south. Lots of MBTs pushing on the enemy team up the B and the C line. Uh, Eloran then decides to turn, switches down from the A line to try and counteract the push from the enemy MBTs on the C line. There's another Merc of a 2D there. Smoke was popped. Eloran is just getting straight in there as best he can. He spots an enemy Merc of a... Fantastic, nice, lovely side shot. The Merc of a 2D on the enemy team takes a hit from Eloran, takes a hit from the front of the MBT. Lovely shots. More shots flying in. Eloran is pushing. Really is pushing. Now, the Tier 7 Challenger 1 is a great attack. And that was a lovely side shot. Uh, Merc of a was trying to turn his front armour to face, uh, I think, either the Centauro or uh, the Chieftain Mark 6. Probably the Chieftain Mark 6. And as he turned, Eloran was able to get a lovely flanking shot in there. And lovely, Eloran has got his first kill. He killed the Merc of a 2D. There's a Challenger 1 on the enemy team around here. But Eloran's team are already two tanks down. They've lost the southern flank totally. It's not looking good. There's Galethian engaging the Challenger. And he and Eloran work well on this, chief, on this Challenger 1, rather. And getting in there, taking shots. The Challenger can only face one side. He's either going to face Eloran or he's going to face Galethian. And that just means his side is exposed to one or other of the tanks. There we go. So on the 21 hit points. Eloran goes in. And Galethian takes the kill. So, good from our platoon here, but bad from their team. It's 7-11. The enemy team have really dominated and pushed. Galethian and Eloran push up on this enemy Merc of a 2D and the M60A3. Trying to get shots into their lower plates and their bellies. Good shot there. But again, it's all about looking at the minimap. Still so many tanks down. What can these guys do? So they're pushing up, 6-10 now, 6-9, so three tanks in it, so it's a nice pullback. But the enemy team still have the lead. Merkava takes another shot, left on 5 HP, never good. There's an ERC coming behind. Uh, Merkava turns, takes him out. Maybe Galethian and Eloran should have taken a, a, a rush up there to take him out. He's on 5 HP. Squash is loaded, and Eloran takes out kill number two. Now, he did take a hit, I think, from a Stingray... Um, who was up on the hill area, and it's now 4-6. So it's been a really interesting engagement. Uh, Eloran's team have won the north quite com comfortably, and the enemy team won the south. Now Eloran is now pushing around. He's now switching, looking at where he needs to go on the minimap. So looking at his minimap there, pretty good. 
Um, you can see most of the action is going to take place at the moment, looking like the C line. It's a Merc of a 2D engaging an ERC. Centauro seems to be trying to flank around back. Chieftain Mark VI is going after the XM1 FSED. And Eloran is trying. But it's now 3 5. The, the tanks are falling. And this is not looking good. The only thing that Eloran has got in his favour is he has most of his HP still intact. He's got 2,542 HP, HP left. And it is 2,960. 3 4. And that's his lovely. This shows one of the big problems at the moment in Armored Warfare. When an MBT, Eloran and his Challenger 1, can almost outturn a Stingray. And using the great frontal armor, tracks him there. Little ram in there to get a, more, a bit more damage in, a bit more tracking damage. Another fire. And look at this. Eloran is now tracked. But Stingray just can't really outturn him. Gets caught on him. And Eloran takes off his turret. So that's the problem at the moment in Armored Warfare. Light tanks aren't very effective at being able to circle MBTs. And MBTs' maneuverability and mobility is awesome. And unfortunately, this is where the salt begins. Uh, but, you know, as I said earlier, that is part and parcel of it. So Eloran is now on three kills. He lost Galithian a bit earlier in that uh, engagement, or the previous engagements. It's 2-3. So there is Eloran in his Challenger 1. There is... Well, there was Centauro 120, but he's been taken out. And it's now a 1-3, one, 1-33 one situation for Eloran. And this is nice. He sees the XM1 uh, FSED pushing up. But rather than just trying to push out, maybe exposing the side as he comes round, Eloran decides to turn. Tries to engage in a flanking manoeuvre. Artillery fires down, smoke fired out, and look at that. Eloran's mobility over the XM1 FSED meant he got a side shot in there. And this is lovely. Lovely shot, 358, nice kill from Eloran. Here comes the ERC, artillery's firing, ERC, wow. Now the ERC is running. So we're now in a one versus two situation. Eloran and his slow moving Challenger 1 MBT. There's an enemy ERC, and there's also an enemy Palmaria artillery. He has been peppering a little bit of Eloran's hit points. Not a lot, but being a little bit irritating. So what's Eloran gonna do? Got a swing round. If he chases the ERC, all he's going to do is going to get led on a merry chase around the map. So he's looking at the map. He's looking at where he needs to go. He's considering his options. Time, he's got over seven minutes left in the game, um, but still difficult. Lots of uh, suggestions are coming in chat about going back to the defend um, Eloran's cap. Eloran, though, is looking at something slightly more aggressive. He's going to push up on the A-line. Now, the ERC has a definite vision advantage over the Challenger 1. And that is going to make it really, really hard for Eloran to actually carry this all the way through to a finale. But we're going to have to see, guys, how it goes. Eloran himself still has um, a fair chunk of his hit points left. He has 2,369 left. And he's pushing on the A-line, trying to sneak up, trying to anticipate where the ERC is going. Again, more suggestions are coming in chat, but Eloran has definitely got his own course of action logged in here. And he's pushing down now. It looks like he's going to look at the artillery, typical artillery hiding spots. You know, up on the uh, the zero line. There's a few spaces over there, and that's looking like where Eloran is heading. Now, is the artillery still going to be there? Well, considering how um, fast Eloran's team actually dominated the north, I doubt it. But you never can tell. This is, of course, Armoured Warfare. So Aaron's now going to push up onto the area where sometimes the artillery actually goes or spawns and makes shots from, because there's some good positions there to take shots over the other side of the map. But as you can see, no artillery. So we're still in a 1v2. The salt is still going on in chat, and as well the pings on the map and suggestions of what Aaron should do. As I said, this is going to be a difficult game to finish. But, uh, well, this is Eloran. And there we go. We have a cap. Enemy is capping. Now, looking whether the ERC was last spotted, pretty certain that it's going to be the artillery that's capping. Where's the ERC going to go? Where can he go to actually try and do some damage? Because Eloran, you know, theoretically, he's in a lot of trouble here. This shot from the ERC. And there's the ERC. He's on the hill. Pushing back. Nice positioning from the RC. He took a shot. It bounced. And now he's doing the right thing and moving out of there as fast as we can. Uh, the ERC spotted 
uh, Eloran for the artillery. The artillery fired. Eloran did pop some smoke back there. And he's now running, moving, using the terrain, trying to get the spots on the ERC. But the ERC seems to have moved out totally, using the ERC's fantastic mobility. So Eloran gets back onto the road, heading for the bridge. He takes a shot from the artillery. Now, whether that was a blind shot or a spotted shot, it's very hard to tell in the replay system. Now, this is a really risky move for Eloran. He's got to get after the artillery. He's got to try and decap. But it's where's the ERC going? And on this bridge, you are exposed from both sides. There's a shot flying in. Looks like the artillery may be over on the, I don't know, D45 area. The shot missed. And there he is. No, nope, he's on the G6. Lovely shot. Eloran does a return shot. Don't think it hits. But again, the ERC is taking little chunks of Eloran's health away every moment. We know the artillery is still in the cap. There he is. He gets spotted. Eloran stops, aims, fires. Get some damage in. A little bit of a return shot from the artillery. Cat was reset though. More fire coming in from the artillery. Eloran really needs to take him out as quickly as he possibly can. because The artillery could inflict some damage to him. But fair play to the artillery. He's sticking with it. He's not running away. He's not getting out of the cap. He's going to battle it out. Give his ERC a chance to actually do some damage. Eloran fires. Lovely shot, but it missed. The artillery is still in the game. Should be about reloaded by now. Maybe a few seconds more. What can Eloran do? He's pushing up into the cap circle. Nice work there. Artillery must be reloaded now. It is so tight. Shots fired. Lovely work from Eloran. And there we are. We're now on a 1v1. So Eloran is down to 1,447 HP. So he has taken a little bit of damage from the ERC and the artillery. Great play and a big shout out to the artillery player. He didn't run away. He didn't try and drown himself. He stayed. He fought to the bitter end. And that is really nice to see. So now, where is the ERC? The ERC, as I said earlier, has got the great mobility to be able to relocate anywhere on the map. Now, if it was me, you know, and time wasn't an issue, I probably would have moved south. But it's three minutes left on the cap. It's going to take just about three minutes, I think, to cap it out solo. Eloran stops it. I think he realises now he cannot cap out this game. So it's looking like it's going to be heading to a draw. Now, Eloran is doing a little bit of a dance on here. There's a shot coming in from the RC. He's to Eloran's left. Eloran hasn't noticed it. You saw the barrier's been taken out there. Second shot from the RC. That missed as well. That was really lucky for Eloran. That would have, could have done some serious damage to him. But you now know the ERC is probably over on the E1. So the ERC driver is being really, really mobile. He's moving around the map. He's taking a couple of shots and then he's moving. So Eloran's now heading over, wiggling a little bit onto the uh, bridge and he's heading over. And it's too late for him to cap. There's only two minutes, just over two minutes left on the timer and it's going to take a lot longer than that to actually cap it out. So it looks like this is going to end in a draw. But you know what they say. You don't sing till the fat lady sings. And at the end of the game, we'll see how it goes. So Aaron pushes round, goes into the cap, but he isn't going to stay there. There is no point staying there. You'd imagine the ERC is going to try and get into a position where he can just take a draw. Uh, to be honest, did you take a draw in this situation? You know, 1447 hit points left for Aaron. I'm not sure what the ERC is on, but I don't think he's been damaged too seriously. And the ERC does have that mobility and vision advantage. Well, we'll see. Eloran went through the cap. He's now pushing up, trying to get an indication of where the ERC is going to be. And it looks like Eloran's going to have to find a way of exposing himself and trying to get a spot on the ERC and try and get some damage in. Let's see what we can do. I can't remember what the ERC's health was on the last time we were spotted, but uh, we're going to have to see. Looks like a draw is inevitable. We've just got about a minute and a shot from the ERC. Takes 360 health from Eloran. Looks like another shot comes in. Misses. He's on the hill up there. Lovely shot. Eloran fires. Misses. He now turns his frontal armour. Pushes on him. Takes a bounce from the ERC. Aims. Blind shot. Fires. What a shot. So it looks like the ERC was on far less health than I thought. Well played, Eloran. What a game. Great work, mate. So let's take a look at the post-game stats. Eloran did 6,161 damage. He got six kills, 50 base defense points. He got the ace tanker 
for killing the most enemy tanks on his team with a minimum of five. He got the gold medal for the highest reputation for them on the winning team. And he also got the master gun as he hit 80% of his shots. It was a fantastic game from Eloran. Thank you for sending it in to me, buddy. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the battlefield.